Um, but it'd be interesting to see. And we are live now, Jake. We've got France in the blue. They'll be attacking first with the Dutch in the red. And this is a best of three. This is payload upward, which means possibility of just two quick rounds and then one team taking home six points. But if a team does get around, they will take two points at a minimum. And Jake, I'm going to hit you with another hard question. Oh, no. I know much, you've told me how much you no. love them. What's the score going to be? Oh no. <laughs> okay, uh, I know Weed Hoop will probably flog me for this, but I think the France, even missing Kazarok, will take this 2 0. And I still think that, that the um, Netherlands will hold up quite well. But in the end, it will be a it will be just a France show. And uh, just one more thing I'd like to mention is that probably, and you know, I apologize, all the Dutchies out there, and we took himself, uh, that I'm gonna probably butcher saying, uh, you know, Netherlands and then Dutch and then Holland, and I'll be mixing these three these three up. So just be ready as the gates are down, and we're ready to roll as well, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, Highlander season six. It's Netherlands versus France and we are looking at well just going in here huge but Nightmare is on top of that he cleans up the demo as well and so far so good for the red team here CJ yeah I mean Nightmare oh there we go Carnax I was gonna talk I was gonna say that Netherlands are gonna get around here I was gonna say Netherlands are gonna get around and they're gonna take two points because I feel Lucian is gonna be the player to kind of Maybe the, the, the ace in the hole here, because Karnax as a six is player, maybe not knowing the, the sight lines on this map, but they seem to be doing pretty well so far. France R3 down, but they're using it Uber very early on. Skeech has a much better Uber, and they're using it mostly on Emil, trying to push them away. Dwo gets cleaned up, and at the moment, France are just keeping on with this aggression, Jake. They just want to keep pressuring, even though there's no Ubers in play right now. That yeah. Way, they're losing players. They're just losing so many. Psycho, though, with the two. That was incredibly smart out of a uh, French team. Because they, they baited out the uber charge, they baited everything, you know, they wasted it. You think, oh, well, that was not a good uber on their side, but they didn't lose anything or anyone in that push. They've retreated in time, and then they soft pushed back in because they knew the respawns are really bad, CJ, and they managed to push this point without the uber charge. That is incredibly smart play on the French team. It is, and they, they, I don't think there's any breaks on this French train right now. They know that they've got the bit between their teeth. They don't. They don't really care about Ubers, they just want to go in and constantly pressure. And at the moment, the Dutch are really well set up. This is a bit of a forward hole going on. They didn't have the sentry watching the cards, but they have everyone in a good position. But France is so aggressive. Uber. They've used the Uber. Skeech is only at 90%. Doesn't actually have the charge yet. Has actually backed away. But the Dutch are losing all sorts of positioning. Cadence goes down to Lucian. I'm not sure whether that's going to bring things into play, though, because Nightmare is also dead. They are chasing with this Uber, but this may be a bit of an overextension if they don't get the Medic. Oh, Maje trying to back away is so incredibly weak, but does survive. Jenny coming Ooh, in from behind. He's 9 HP. He gets the kill. Jenny gets the kill onto Maje. The Dutch have just crumbled behind enemy lines. Stuff is all going wrong for them, but Jenny... A saving grace, getting the medic kill, but what is going on here, Jake? Well, Skeet just flew off the cliff with the pirate that was pestering him, so the uh, the medic situation is about equal as about as you would expect. Second point now belongs to France after 2 minutes 14 seconds, that's a light, lightning fast time, and now Kalist is on that heavy weapons guy, he put so much damage and pressure on the red team, they have not set up just yet, there's also a heavy lurking above in that little nightmare, he's gonna get destroyed there by the soldier, easy peasy. And, uh, well, Tree Burden, a very well-established Pyro, still kind of, you know, they're waiting around, they're waiting for the Dutch team, they're waiting for some respawns, you know, they have a very good time so far, and look how far forward this, uh, the cart is already, it's already pushing to the second ramp of this third point, and it's not, you know, it doesn't show any signs of stopping, the scout, Azunis, as well as the engineer, just sitting on a 24-7, maybe going out, you know, their uh, Azunis got caught out by Mist and the shit house, but that's okay, oh, however, Lucian stops his Asex as soon as he reaches the top of the second ramp, stopping the card, and that might be what the Dutch team was looking for with that 100% Uber charge as well to maybe stabilize themselves because the time is not looking too good for them. There's no one contesting the card. Mist is finally doing it. Um, it's a 1v1. Oh no, he turns around. He gets backstabbed by Psycho there. It's an Uber exchange going on right here. T Borden gets dropped there, but it doesn't matter. Emil just. <laughs> falls off the side of the map. We've seen that a few times already. The Dutch have four players left alive here. Jenny just boops away Asics off the off, off of the cliff here, but Azunis is pushing the car now. And France 
they're just not stopping and <gasps> no, no, Dutch no. can't do anything. Kalis, what are you doing, mister? He just goes here and takes down Skeet like he's nothing. And now no medic for the red team, which means 50% advantage for Matt J. They're pushing on the third boy already and it's capped. Moving on to last four minutes is the time for friends, and I'm just so sad to kind of have that caster's curse of saying, well, friends has this because, oh my god, they look incredibly strong. I mean, Honjo there, credit to him, managed to get a 3k with the Wrangler, so just giving his team as much of a chance in this situation right now is the soldiers trade. Lucian gets a kill onto Asics, just trying to slow down that cart a little bit. Mr. Improbs is going to get the double backstab. Elacor and Kalis need a bit of communication there, boys. Talk to each other. Um, getting backstabbed quite um, far apart, and Lucian gets another kill. And this is what happens. Skeech goes down to T. Borden. Skeech not in a position there to get away as the Uber came in. Um, but France not really in a position to push the cart. And this is what we saw the other day when it was, um, was it Germany, Belgium? The first three points can go down really fast, but if you're defending, if you can just get yourselves dug in onto that last point, you may be able to just grind out some more minutes and make it a more respectable time. And at the moment, that's what the Dutch are going to have to do right here. Yeah, Honjo's having a hard time keeping the sentry up. However, he's doing a decent enough job as it's already level three. Duo jumps in, trying to get Skeej. He gets one rocket in, but that's not enough. Now, Nightmare's in a lot of trouble with Skeej as well. He has to go back to spawn. The car's being pushed in, finally getting cleaned up just in time by Nas. And they're working together to get this car to, from just moving forward. Matt J, 90%, only 50 on Skeej. They'll be able to push this, France, as they're getting ready with Duo, who is now moving onto the car. They can use it at any given time. They're quite aggressive. What a huge jump by Mist. He takes down Duo, but he goes down himself. Uber is popped on the card. Nobody from the red team is alive. And that is the time, CJ. Five minutes and 46 seconds. Lightning, lightning fast. I mean, there was a moment there where things could have been okay, and then Psycho gets a double backstab onto Skeej and Noz. Medic and Demo down, which two players you really kind of need to defend the last point. Um, I don't know, I just feel that France aren't really giving any respect to their opponents right now. They are just being so aggressive, they're walking forward, and we even see there's going to be a crits play on the defense here. We're going to have Maggie on the crits, Elicor wanting to put some stickies outside the spawn doors, maybe just get a pick or two as uh, the, uh, the Dutch come out, but I, I feel that France have just not let go of the W key so far, and that's enabled <laughs> people like Psycho to, to get stuff done. Like, he's just getting so many backstabs. Obviously, an incredibly talented spy, but he's been afforded so much space because it's just chaos right now. And in the chaos, the French are just out DMing at the yeah. moment. And that's, that's a strange thing to say on, on Upward. That little Citroën can really go fast, as everything everyone could see that. But now, with France on the defensive side, and everything in the hands of the Dutch team to make dreams come true. The gates are down, CJ. Here comes Mist on that soldier class, waiting for a good opportunity to jump with that cape of his. He's getting in position. Cyclo is relaying all the information. Mist goes in. One rocket, two rockets to the heavy. He's going to go down himself. And Mr. Improbable is the only saving grace as the spy behind, waiting for an opportunity. But that first jump has been unsuccessful. However, the cart is still moving forward with that heavy fist of steel strategy. Always a solid iron strategy, I would say. But the France, the French is, are not just really letting this one go. Here's Elacor on that demo, also putting a lot of spam on those flank classes without the medic who's still sitting those spawn. No, no, no anymore. Ski just quite aggressive now. He's getting ready to push. Yeah. They, they need to kind of come out here and do something, and they're going to go for the exchange, using it on Noz. Pretty much a solo Uber here. Uh, maybe worth flashing the pyro in. They do a little bit there just to just kind of discoordinate the French bit. T. Borden's getting really aggressive. They're just walking forward, and they're just cleaning everybody up. Elicor manages to take down Skeej. They've taken down four. Nearly, well, they go. Nightmare has gone down as well, and that's just such an unsuccessful push. They get the cart really far forward. They get the trade. They have taken down Elicor and T. Borden, but is it really worth it? Losing your medic and everything, it all just kind of... There wasn't really any direction there, and there's still a chance here. Four and a half minutes, they do really need to start making these miracle plays happen. They need to start getting the medic. They need to get Matt J down if they're going to get anything out of this first point or this round alone. Yeah, definitely. Then needs, something needs to happen at some point, CJ. Definitely. But now Maz is getting quite aggressive on the car. He's taking a lot of damage for his uh, trouble there. Skeet is also on fire, but he's going to get extinguished by Emil easy peasy. And now they're just kind of hiding behind that little alcove. 
just shielding themselves from spam. I think the French are retreating at this point. They've lost a lot of players in Netherlands. I think that Siege is in a lot of trouble as well, but he does survive barely, however, being pestered there by Kalis and his friends. And now T-Bird and still staying behind with Azurus. They may be able to get Skis just yet. He's still hiding behind that rock. He's unguarded now. He goes for the minute, but no, he gets cleaned up by Lucian. What a headshot bot from that sniper main. That was a tasty snipe. I have to say, things were looking really good for the Dutch there for a moment. They were getting picks, they were getting kills on the right players, and then Psycho gets a double backstab and a ambi headshot, just casually getting a 3k. So, I mean, if when things are starting to go right for your team, um, you know, the Spy takes down a third of your lineup, it's pretty difficult things can go. And you see the Netherlands use their Uber so early here, and despite it, they lose Nightmare, they lose Lucian, they've lost Emil as well. The counter Uber from the French is so much better. As Yunus is on the prowl, he wants more, he feels, he can, he can taste blood here. He's gonna frag Miss potentially here, he does. And actually the Dutch just got stuck. They're stuck in side tunnel here, they haven't got really much support. It's Skij and Noz against the world, and I don't think, the, the, <laughs> I don't think the French are gonna let them come out of that side tunnel. No. Whatsoever. Uh, they are not known to waste those opportunities that were given to them. However, the, the sentry has been sapped by the spy, so well done there by Mr. Improbable. He's still on the prowl, he's still looking, he's still, he may be the saving grace for the Dutchies here, but uh, Netherlands are struggling to kind of get a foothold. They get, they got four kills, CJ, so that's good enough. They're getting ready, Miss is also getting some more heals, Ski just uh, working on that, but Matt Mr. Improv has, he's on a three kill streak. He got two earlier on and now he just takes down Mad Jay. Huge play. The spies are popping off in this game. Two minutes 20, Jake. This is possible. You know what I talk about? Dutch courage. Believe in yourselves. And they may be able to continue and take this. There are a few players down here. Kalis is still down. And Psycho, the perennial thought in their side, is still down. Helicor is caught out here. He's trying to... That is an amazing stupid junk away. And he takes down... Oh, he always takes on Lucian. Is Helicor going to survive this? God, that is six insane. HP. Six HP. No, he gets shot by Mr. Improbable coming in clutch yet again. That spy is really saving grace for the Netherlands team. And now Duo is lurking behind, but he's gonna get cleaned up by Nightmare. Now Nightmare is working on that cart as the heavy weapons guy. 14% on Skeej, 40% on Mad J. Yes, that's a considerable advantage on the defensive side, CJ. They don't have a sentry just yet. <gasps> a Lucian, no. headshot, Mad J, Mad J, I don't think he, I don't think he died earlier on. I don't think he died in the first half, in the attacking phase of this. And on the defensive side, he's just gone down twice in quick succession. This is a huge opportunity for the Dutch right now. They have an uber advantage and they, they're about to capture the third point. They just need to walk in here. They've got some more kills. Karnax is dead as well. No sniper for 20 seconds. Duo is doing so much work right now. He was part of the reason that the Dutch haven't captured third already. And he's just taken down Noz again. So Duo is, is literally being a saving grace for the French right now, which is so strange to say. Skeech is at 100% Jake. Don't make your dreams just be dreams. Just do it. Push the card. 50 seconds to go for the Dutchies. You thought that French team had set an incredible time that is pretty much unbeatable, but look how far forward Netherlands are. They have 100% Uber charge. They're lurking below. They're getting in the position to the window. That's a good spot. Charging with Emil. Emil is going for the many. He gets the many. Match is down. He's still going W plus M1. Gonna burn down the heavy as well. As you know, the power action as much as you can get. Here's a level three sentry on last by Asax. So that might actually stop the car. 24 seconds to go, CJ. There's not a lot, but we'll get the double there. So we might stop them just enough, but Miss, the flying Dutchman himself, he's gonna take upon himself to take down that sentry. Maybe divert the attention. 12 seconds to go, CJ. Psycho is on the car. He's killing the people on the car. Psycho and Duo are just, they're just, just brains are pulsing right now. This is crazy. They're just focusing the car. Duo is on a 5K right now. Oh my word. It takes like, what, 43 seconds, right? From third until last, if you're time three the entire time, all right? And they had, I had about a minute or at least 50 seconds. They had plenty of time. That Uber was perfect. That Uber was perfect. And they did everything that they needed to do. The French were on the ropes. But what happens is Dwo spawns and he just yeets himself onto the car. It just kills everyone. <laughs> Not once, Jake, but he does it twice. Nobody is worried about the soldiers. It's a soldier in Highlander as a dispensable class. No, he just freaking jumps in and just focuses the car while everyone else is trying to lock down spawns and take fights. Focus the heels on the car. Kill the people trying to kill the car. And Psycho as well. Absolutely crazy play by both sides D the dutch were out of this and they've shown that no there's still life in them yet
There is still life in them yet. They were so incredibly close of closing this one in, of dropping the bomb down the pit. But they were just a little short. But they still have one more chance to come back at this. And I don't think that French are as comfortable as they were in the first round setting the time. Because that was also dangerously close for the Dutchies here. I think Netherlands, if, if they were setting the time first... I don't think that the French would be able to beat the time that they've set in the first round. I think the first round was kind of a shock, you know, kind of like a blitzkrieg strategy where they just went in full full throttle and rolled over uh, Netherlands. But at the same time, Netherlands was like, okay, we're just going to do exactly the same. And then Mr. Improbable doing an amazing job on the spy, dropping Matt J twice there. I'm not dropping, but killing him twice. And that's good enough because without a medic, you can't hold the line on defense. That's just it. You have to fall back. Just a sacrifice players to get the enemy medic down but you know the end result cj is that you have to fall back without a medic you can't hold a front line without a medic on the defense team and that happened twice in a row and as a result netherlands were able to push two points in a very quick succession saving them a lot of time and actually you know giving them hope mm, absolutely no i totally agree so with as you. as much like... as much as duo was an amazing and standing out player for french i do you think that Mr. Improbable definitely has this one for the Netherlands? I mean, that was insane play by by the spy and good timing. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I was I was hyping up Psycho there um, earlier on. He went fourteen for eleven. Uh, Mr. Improbable going thirteen for eleven. So doing nearly as pretty much as much work and and getting those picks, getting the crucial picks at the right time. And um, I feel he really did open things up there. The Dutch needed. That little spark, just a little opening. Someone to just unlock the door for the rest of the team to go through. And that's what he did on the points there. I do feel, though, that the Dutch would have won that if it wasn't for Dwo. On the third point, mm -hmm. when Elical was doing his... Okay, you know, you got to raise your hands and say when a player is good. You know, it was just sort of incredible escape almost through Shearhouse. Um, while he was doing all of that... Dwo was killing the people on the cart. He got two kills on the cart and then followed up with a third a few seconds later. So when all of this kind of uber exchange is going on, a lot of people kind of either try to kite it, they try to run away or whatever. He knows what his job is and his job is to kill those people on the cart on the defense. He did that on third. He did that on last twice. And you've got to think, maybe he bought his team seconds there or, you know, maybe even half a minute in worth of a push. And that could have been the difference between winning and losing. So he's definitely my, my man of that round. And he did top frag, but Netherlands are attacking first. Like you said, Jake, it's, it's a different sort of pressure when you've set the time first. It definitely is. But now uh, it will be the Dutchies who will be attacking first. French will be defending. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Critzcast. This time around, powered by Manco Store. A game between wow. Netherlands and France. 1-0 to zero for France as the gates are down, CJ here. Nice little quick cleanup by Alakur onto Emile. That's no <laughs> more pyro for offense. I mean, just an easy sticky trap. Just taking down them one working, by one. You know? Mist just goes in, but he gets completely denied there. Nos, Nos also on the side. He's half health, putting a lot of damage on the heavy. But Kalos is going to survive this one, and Nos just goes down to a revolver. So, well, well, the first... Respawn wave has not been eventful. The card is actually quite far forward, and we might see Skeege come out very early as well and see how it pans out. That's what they did last time, and it'd be interesting to see if they do it again because I felt last time they did it because of the short time they had. Um, Skeege is actually still playing kind of passive. He's walked out now. Nightmare has gone down, um, but they've picked up three plays, including Carnex. No sniper for the French right now, and it looks like they want to take this in. Noz is going to receive the majority of that Uber. Cheeky flash onto Emil there. Elacor has been dropped. Emil gets killed there by T. Borden with the reflect pipe. But I do think the French have to escape. Jenny is on the chase. Almost takes down Kalis. Kalis is really weak. But that was a very successful push there. Once again, Dwyer is trying to clean up. A combination with there as Azunis does take down Noz. But very good push there, Jake. Uber versus Uber. And the Dutch looked on top. Yeah, it really does take Dutch courage to push this one in like the, the Netherlands oh. team did. It's your boy. It's your boy, <laughs> it's your Mr. Boy. Improbable. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, you see this standard hole kind of forward here coming out of France. They only have a level one sentry that is wrangled right now. They clean up Mist and Nightmare, so no more of those heavy hitting classes for the blue team. Skeet is still alive, however, and there's a lot of players down for it. What happened to them? They're just getting cleaned. Hondra just got two kills there. Um, they're all just getting cleaned up. They have no heals, and you can't play 
in a way, as if you've got heals when you don't have heals, because the other team is just going to attack you. They're buffed, they're just going to slowly chip away at you, and that's what's happened. And the Dutch are going to get this second point for free. And the thing is, it may be... A, look at what, actually, look where Doyle is. Doyle is still in the uh, the upper house. Uh, Skeej is really far away. I don't know if oh, he's going to no. try and block car here and just buy some more seconds. He's going to wait for Psycho. Look where Psycho is as well. I think he changed spawn right now, but he was waiting mm. for that time. I saw the outline and the spawn. He's going to go for the card again. He's going to miss the second rocket. Goes for a third. Fourth one on Delusion. But Lucian was overhealed and Skeet is already far away with that Uber Charge. They're pushing in. They know Magic doesn't have an Uber Charge. They have to get out now, but they do take down this whole defense while the card is still far away. So, it, you know, France still has a chance of putting a defense onto third, but there's a serious dent in that. Right now, Psycho, however, he's decloaking, he's looking for Skeej. Skeej is, however, out, he's gonna put a shot, nope, he's out and about, and there he goes. Skeej is actually redeeming himself, but what just happened? Was that an Ulapool Caber kill? It is, it is, no. it's still used, Eloquent uses it, Eloquent uses it in sixes as well, I swear, just, Why? you know. <laughs> it, if it works, you might as well. I mean, that was really well played there by the Dutch. Duo, again, with the big brain, just thinking, hey, if I stop the car here, it's going to work. And Honjo, with the fist kill, just <laughs> snaps his fingers and Azunas is out of the game. But I feel like France are the ones in control right now because now they have the Uber. Skeech is only 85%. Mm. Um, if the Dutch continue to play like this, it's fine. But they were a little bit too over-exuberant there on third. They needed to wait for the car to move up. But the Dutch are pushing. Look at Nightmare. He's going for a sneaky play in she house. Oh. Whoa! With the rocket, just splits them apart. And that's going to slow down the car time again. Yeah, but it's already halfway up to the second slope, so it might just be a little bit of a push to get it all the way to third point. They're getting ready to push this one, and the Netherlands, they have 100%. They've lost three players, however, so they'll probably have to delay this push even more. I think that's a smart choice here, because without three players, you can't really push this one, as there's somebody has to be on the cart, and there's a lot of red bodies in the way to the third point. Now Matt Jay is kind of waiting around, waiting for a good opportunity here. A bit of a stalemate going on, both snipers scoping, and here comes a core <gasps> carnage. That's a drop! No. That's a drop, Psycho! No, how did I miss it? Psycho just slips in there and takes down uh, Skeej when he was at full charge. The Dutch were just waiting for their team to regroup and push in with sort of all nine players but there we go they're all just starting falling apart there the death of their medic no heals the french get a bit aggressive and pick off some more players and just re-solidify their position here on third um and it's looking better for france now that's the thing on these on this third and fourth point when you've got the momentum it can be quite easy to take control on the attacking side but when you've got the defense set up and everyone's in a position to just kind of you know, get the level 3 up, get the dispenser up, get the sniper up, watching the lanes. Um, it, it can be very difficult to break, and now the Dutch, 60% Uber, have to rebuild and, and regroup now. He just really brave for staying in the open. Uh, I mean, uh, Psycho and Woe are both down, so he may be just safe, but you have to still remember that they, they do have Karnax on the other team, on the sniper rifle, and he's been doing a pretty good job so far. Uh, we shall see, Nas is getting actually quite aggressive there with Emil, Nightmare is also taking the position, they're so aggressive with that Uber charge, they just got it, they're walking in forward, W guys, we're pushing it in, the sentry is still out, the counter pop has been enabled by Matt J, who is now just focusing the pyro only, they're cleaning up three classes, and Reskij gets away with his uh, life, they they lost three in this engagement as well, and the sentry has went down, which means it's a full success for Netherlands. All they have to do really is to re-push this with the response, but Blow goes in! One rocket on the skid! He goes oh. for another! He's not getting it! Noz takes him down in the air! What a pipe from Noz. I mean, Duo going in, trying to get the medic there, and the actually France seem to be saying, hey, we don't want to leave just yet. We still got something to say about this point. Elicor still trying to spam at the car and stop the Netherlands from coming. But Emil comes in, a sneaky pyro play, gets a ton of damage down. Imagine he's gone down to Lucian. Lucian takes down both the Medic and the NG. And that is huge for pushing into last. With no NG, there isn't going to be a pesky level 3 being wrangled on the top of the balcony. And with no heals, the French are going to have to be careful here holding this far forward. Oh yeah, definitely. Look how far forward the Netherlands are. They have full Uber advantage here. Three players down, just respawn for the Reds, and they're taking control of the windows. That could not look any better for the blue team here. Skeech, all he has to do is stay alive, but there's Psycho there, just kind of poking his bag. He's gonna survive, however, and Skeech, 100% Uber charge, 15 onto Matt J. They've lost three players. The card is slowly moving forward, but not fast enough. They're getting ready for a push here. Skeech doesn't have anybody to heal right now. Jumps in in the open. He's really brave there. Oh, Miss goes in. 
Nice, a few rockets. They take down Kalos, but that's only that. French are really struggling here, CJ. Yeah, they're just trying to regroup and just buy seconds here. I don't think this is going to be a winnable game. They've just got to try and buy as much time. And Zunis just launches across to the point to Woe as well. And actually, they're buying a lot of time. That's probably about five to ten seconds they bought extra here. Psycho on the point. He's buying more and more. And it is going to... No! It's not going to roll in! They jumped off the point. That's going to be another three seconds. They were all three of them just stepped away from the car as it was about to tilt. Seven minutes and 12 seconds. Still a fairly decent time. But... I have to say, Mr. Siege. Improbable again. You know, really gone. Just pride comes before fall. <laughs> quite literally. I, quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. They were stood on the car. They just jumped off. Mr. Improbable, though, really kind of made that push a success. He was up on the upper balcony, that kind of high ground that teams like to use when they're at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And, uh, not, uh, sorry, not Nightmare, Kalis was up there just kind of hammering down. And when a heavy's up there, it's very hard for people to walk through that choke and they're just getting peppered with bullets. You know, it's not like the pyro can reflect uh, bullets. This isn't a, <laughs> this isn't Overwatch. And, you know, so <laughs> Mr. Improbable is waiting there, backstabs the heavy. And from then on, it's just a case of a meal, air, air blasting stuff away. You know, the rockets, the stickies, and everyone else just healing up on the car. Really good push there by the Netherlands. They'll just be a bit disappointed with sort of how long it took them to capture third, especially that drop delayed them by, you know, a minute, a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. But I reckon, the, I reckon the French are a bit shook here right now. I reckon yeah. they're thinking, okay, we've, we've still got work to do in this game. Well, you know, it'll be really sour taste for Netherlands if they lose by those three seconds. They didn't manage to cap the point here, CJ. I'm just putting it out there, but the gates are down yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going out into the second part of the second round. This time around, Netherlands really have to hold this for over seven minutes if they want to get themselves ahead. And here come the flying Frenchman. Duo goes in with Alacor. Alacor blues himself up. Psycho goes down as well. Duo is a lot of trouble. He does survive. He's going to be a problem in the back line. They have to actually devote two players to take him down. How annoying this one man can be. Lucian's popping up a bit here. He's, he's just controlling this balcony or playground, as a lot of people call it. And uh, no one really touched Skeech there. I think he remained uh, 150 HP the entire time during those suicides. But they're going to try again. Do I win from behind? Does get some damage onto Skeech this time. But some great wrangling and um, some great tracking by Nightmare is going to deny that. And the French don't get any any sort of result out of those uh, those suicides there, Jake. So again, oh, Nos does go down. So they have a pick now. They have a demo pick. Um, and maybe that's going to prompt Maché to want to come out. And Lucien goes down to Carnex. Two of probably the biggest picks you can get trying to go for an Uber versus Uber here. Oh, I would start uh, sweating if I was French right now because this is not looking too good. This is the first point and actually it was willingly given away. Oh no, to the, the team. Malachor goes in. He just does so much damage, but the Uber has been completely wasted. And Skeech still is holding on to his. He's still kind of keeping it for the darkest hour that may come soon. But they have a very nice forward hole on the second point. Level 3 Sentry. It's very smart play. Nas is so aggressive up there, putting so much spam as well. He's gonna oh, get a few nicely timed. Uh, Sticky's there. Jenny as well, helping him out with the cleanup. I, gotta get the, I thought you were gonna get the airship. Oh. Jake, that was so smart. The Dutch knew that they wouldn't be able to hold or make much work after if with an Uber exchange. So what do they do? Um, they just don't use Uber. They just run away and France Uber into a literally open space. They're getting some picks now, though. Noz and Lucien are down again. And Skeej is getting peppered with damage. So the French have control of this upper hill now. Um, and they do have an Uber. So it's going to be difficult for the Dutch to maybe hold on to this point with any sort of success. Um, at this point, I'd be saying to my team, do we want to stay in or do we want to back out to third? And it doesn't look like they're going to go for the exchange. The car isn't actually reaching the corner yet. Um, the Dutch have some people behind. Mr. and Mr. Improbable are just kind of lurking around. If they get some kills here, maybe this could work. But it doesn't look very healthy here as Lucien's gone down, Mist has gone down. And I think the Dutch need to back out to third here. Yeah, but they did manage to save Skeej's life. Skeej is now safe and the battle is his first Uber this game. Whereas uh, Matt J managed to pop off too. Now Nightmare is low on health, but he's gonna survive with the help of Jenny. I'm gonna relocate to the third point. Quite smart uh, strategy coming out of the Dutchies here. They're building up a level two sentry already and preparing for the next push. Ubers are about equal, so that means Red are in the advantage. However, French like to push in without an Uber charge themselves. So they might do it yet again. Duo goes into the drop down there, finds Jenny. He's gonna relocate back to his uh, friends to re-heal, but that's just like 
how Duo is playing, I really don't want to meet this man on the field. I really don't. This is so incredibly frustrating to play against because you never know where this soldier is going to come from. Yeah, I just have to say, France are just focusing Noz so hard right now. Duo is at shit house right now and he's just going to go for the sniper. Lands two rockets. Oh, great reflect there by Emil. Duo is at 5 HP, trying to survive. I don't know whether he'll, he'll escape actually. Oh, he's trying to. No, he gets taken down by Lucian. Bit of an overkill there with the headshot. Lucian is the big problem for France right now. He is he is starting to warm up a bit. You can see he's hitting all of these shots. And France is using the Uber really early because of that. And there we go. We're going to see the exchange. Elecor and uh, Magi just get pushed away by Emil. And Emil's going to try and get aggressive here. Get some damage down onto the uh, the French combo. But a bit of an overextension. They can't listen to it. have gone down. So things are going to stabilize here, Jake. But... Lucian and Noz are the two key factors for the Dutch right now. Mm. And now, it's a little bit of a problem there for the French team. They didn't get the cart quite the way up the second slope there, but they do have a lot of room to work with right now. As soon as he's working on the cart, cart UD is occupied here. They've lost Lucian, however, 22 seconds on the sniper, and he's been proven to be a very huge impact on the French team here for the Netherlands. Skeech doesn't have his Uber, and like I said, French really do like pushing in without an Uber, Uber themselves. They're going in, they're not too afraid. The Sentry is still level 3 and still up, but the Engineer is nowhere to be seen, so no Wrangler there gonna get taken down like it's just trash. And now Matt J is moving into the staircase area. Ski just sitting on 100% ready to push this, but here comes Steve Burden. He's looking for the kill, he's gonna find trouble, only that. And now, uh, well, Matche is a little bit of a trouble there. Improbable is there. They have to pop this. Mist was there as well, forcing out the medic. They're using it as much as they can. They're doing as much work as they can. But Nas now has a much better Uber. And he's chasing. He's hungry for kills. Oh, Neil. Can he get the kill onto Duo? Yeah, he does get the reflect kill. He was he got pushed down there. So that was really well played by the Dutch. They were in perfect position, but Emil gets knocked down and falls into that little hole in the ground. So he goes through the basement, goes for maybe that could have been the flank of his life because Magic was right by the door, um, but gets caught out by Duo, who happened to be uh, watching at the right door at the right time. One minute 30 here, and this is equal Ubers essentially. It's about 10%, 15 at a most that Skeege is at a disadvantage. But you gotta remember this is Highlander and it mm. does take a while for people to get into position. And Azunis is getting a lot of cap time. He's not really being denied by anything other than the Sentry and it's hard for that to happen. Um, Psycho comes in, maybe trying to get for someone on the car, but both of them go down. And it's all gonna be about the push here. It's actually about a 30% advantage. Match has been working really hard in getting that Uber and Skeege oh. doesn't have it yet, has to run away. And he dies! Oh, no, this is looking very grim right now for Netherlands. They have everything going for them, but what a nice work there from the medic getting the Uber charge very quickly. Your magic doing work. Four people up for the red team. The card is not being pushed, however. There's nobody from the blue to actually get it done. And there's Honcho with that level 3 sentry still on duty. Still trying to get those skills that they need to get. A6 is on the card right now. He's pushing it up to slow. It's so close. It's gonna get cleaned up. Azunis as well. What a kill from Lucian. And now they're clean. Honcho is in the Absolute kill streak there, Lucian at fourth game as well himself, and they're gonna stop that cart dead in its tracks, CJ. What did I say about earlier? Mr. Improbable won the Dutch the push because he killed the heavy on the top. Nightmare did so much work with the Thomas Lab. I don't think he got any kills, but he was shooting people, so they were down to about half HP. And by the time they committed to the cart, the sentry was just like and, it, and then just died. And then Lucian is just popping off and he gets a, he's got a 5k right now. This is gonna be a Dutch win, surely. Look at Nightmare, he's on the car right now. They're trying to front, they've got three seconds. This could be the three seconds no. that matter. No, it's not. If the French had capped there, the Dutch would be kicking themselves. But it is 1-1 one, one. and I said the Dutch had it in them to get around here. And it's because it, little things like that, Jake. Little, if Nightmare had been dealt with or if that the sentry had gone down. Hondra has been sort of doing such a great job in wrangling, you know, and focusing things like that. And on last, he was just the tank. He was the final boss that France had to deal with. And, you know, Lucian was kind of like, Lucian and Nightmare, you know, when you play a boss, there's like the two little annoying sidekicks that are just annoying you. <laughs> That's what was happening. You know, they were just peppering them with shots and Honjo just tanking on that car. And it's 1-1 one, one, and I... We have I'd a still, game. We have a we, game on our hands. We have a really good game. And mind you guys, this is just a group stage. Like, these people really don't have much to lose yet. They still can kind of take it easy, you know, sh just shoot themselves in, shoehorn themselves in, just nice and easy into the season, get to know each other. They, they 
they don't care. They just want to kill people and cap points, and they're doing it in extremely fast fashion. <laughs> I wouldn't believe that Netherlands has it in them to actually pull this off, but French are crumbling. They're kind of, you know, their knees are buckling under the weight that the Netherlands is putting on them, and it's working out. Lucian is the absolute MVP of the last round because that man was absolutely unstoppable. His flicks, his, his shots, and that last point work really saved the Netherlands when it really mattered, and now Lucian is the man to really pat on his back once the team gets together, but... You know, we are going to the third game of this set, the deciding game, which, uh, well, the winner of this one will take the win home here and advance themselves a little bit further on the on the scoreboards. But, I mean, doesn't really matter when we have such a good game to watch, CJ? Do, do points really matter? Uh, I mean, I think the points do matter to these guys. I mean, I know it's the group <laughs> stage and you always got the, oh, yes, yeah, you know, so-and-so will be in, in the next round. And, oh, yeah, of course, you know, these team are going to go through. But when you look at these groups, like, you know, this is one of the harder groups. They've still got Turkey and... Uh, and Norway, who've, you know, all got Premiership Div 1 gamers on their rosters. So, you know, Turkey managed to to beat Norway, apparently, according to the groups that Vihuv is putting up now, whether that was a, I don't know, if we have any information on that. So there we go. I mean, neither of these teams is going to be top of the table after this match. Mm. You know, it's going to be maximum of four points that they can attain, and they still have work to do. They still have work to do. So I think every point is going to count because, of course, if you win your group, you're going to play against a second placed team from another group. And, you know, maybe you want to have an easier ma uh, matchup in the next round, et cetera, et cetera. And I just think, uh, yeah, both of these sides are, are definitely going to be looking at this and thinking, okay, let's not stress if we lose, but getting that extra two points is going to really help. And it does bring up the question, you know, no Kazarok for France, no Olga. These players weren't available tonight. Um, you know, is that making a difference for France right now? Because Lucien top fragging in that previous game definitely turned up. And uh, and France kind of, I wouldn't want to say struggling, but they might they're be. really having, they're having to fight for everything. You know, it it's not being be. given to them. Because, you know, you basically see Duo do a lot of work for his team, but I'm not really seeing uh, Karanax a lot. I'm not really seeing Kalis, uh, you know, being Kalis essentially. Elecor is doing quite a bit of work himself, but he's just one man. Duo is another. But then for the Netherlands team, they really are working as a unit. They cover for each other's downsides and weak spots while emphasizing on their strong sides. So it really is working out for them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the third round of the first group game between Netherlands and France and we will see in this round this is all this is all it takes for this group at least for peel upward which one is better is it the Stroop Waffle or is it the baguette oh you go with a baguette man no I would have gone for a croissant you know you know croissant versus Stroop Waffle then then I'm kind of thinking about it you know then I have to then I have to really put my brain to the test there interesting <laughs> interesting to see france are attacking first here now the team that this you the team that gets to decide in the deciding round who attacks or defends first is the team that sets the faster time in their attacking phase of course france in that first round with the round they won set a time of about five odd minutes so they have decided to attack first like they did in the first round when they won so the dutch here you know knowing you know, this was when the France kind of had a lightning and offense, so to speak, Jake, and we'll see if they can do the same again. Oh, here, Elacor getting quite aggressive there. He decided not to jump in first. He takes a lot of damage for his flag, but he also is keeping the red players at bay from peaking this one. So it's working out well in their favor. They still need to get this card as far forward as they can before they actually decide to push in. So there's a lot of dead time. Whoa, nice surf up there. He is amazingly well placed there, but... No, most of the damage gets sunk into the dispenser and Honjo yet again showing what the engineer class can do, shielding his medic from the splash damage. Skeet survives this one. They have a cycle. Oh Wait! no! No! That Carnex! You don't walk up there. I mean you don't. Maybe maybe that's just forgetting sight lines or something like that from Skeege, but you know that the sniper from pretty much anywhere on the spawn can see that playground area and you don't want to expose yourself. It's a body shot, fully charged body shot there. He did such a great job in not using Uber despite all of the pressure, but that is a drop from Skeege and now Maje still has 100% and the French starting to push on the top there. I do think the Dutch need to just 
regroup here, consolidate their losses, and realize that they're going to have to go for maybe a third hold here because they're not going to have anywhere close to an Uber. Mm, they kind of can delay as much as they can before they actually have to fall back here, but they do have a level 3 sentry by Honjo, but the Blues are pushing in. They're angry. Elacor jumps in. He gets juggled there. What a wrangle work by the Engineer. Jump, and Elacor actually craters there. Magic unable to save his <laughs> demo man. Completely stopped dead in its tracks, and now Skeech has the advantage. He's lacking on the player side, but the card is still far away. They still can manage to maybe put a hold on this, but will they decide to do so? Dwo jumps in quite aggressively, puts a nice rocket in the meal, but he misses Skeech by a few inches. Now Skeech is popping the Uber charge. They want to get stop this car, and they're chasing every single kill they can get. Emil and Nas are jumping in mist as well, putting some nice damage, but they're unable to find Map J. Map J is all the way back and fighting Mr. Improbable. Mr. Improbable popping him with that Letranger. <laughs> what is going on? This is hard to watch on the back lines. Mr. Improbable gets cleaned up by Duo just in time before Matt J falls down. So, I mean, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at my scoreboard right now. Matt J does fall down, ladies and gentlemen. I report he does fall down. Skeej with 50% advantage. However, they are back to third point. Now they have to put up a good defense if they want to fight for a good time as well. I was going to say that was a bit of a misplay from the Dutch there. I didn't think them Ubering out was going to be very worthwhile. Just take the Uber advantage and go to third. But we are on to the third point where Snipers and Magic is extremely weak. He's about 20 HP. Has to back off. He does not. He's not able to help his team whatsoever here. But they are pushing the car. They're focusing the car. No one's contesting with them. Noz needs to get forward. And Mist needs to get some spam on there to stop them. Um, because look, they've got it up the first two, well, at least the first slope. Can they get up the second one as well? They're getting so. Oh no. Oh, Azunis is going to survive, and now it's Asics' turn, but Mist is there, and he's just going to throw some rockets on the car. Great job by Mist. And Matt J has gone down to Mr. Improbable. This time he died to the knife, not the Latranger. It's called the Latranger, Jake. Not the Latranger. Latranger. I mean, come on, Elecor dies. I just, I just have to re rewind there a little bit, Jake. I want... I want webcams on Elecor and Honjo during that exchange. <laughs> Can I just imagine the intense face of wrangling from Honjo while Elecor is just looking at his monitor like, what the hell am I doing right now? Just just getting wrangled. But um, yeah, there we go. 100% for Skeej, 40% for Maje. What's going on, Jake? Well, it's still Letranger, and we're watching the blue team right now with Matt J at 50%. Skeej on popping the Uber charger, actually trying to clean up some people around. I don't think what happened there, but the Uber has been used now, and Nas is quite, quite aggressive there with Jenny as well, putting a little bit of a damage on the blue team, but it's not going to be enough. It's not going to stop Matt J from building his. Oh, Lucian is in a good spot. He may be able to spot the many. He's looking, he finds a body shot. That's an amazing kill. Wish he was a headshot, but a body shot nevertheless, and that man Medic is down, Skeet is still alive, now Mist has to stop the car from rolling in, but it's already past the third slope. It's an interesting close of being pushed to third, and now they have to devote at least one player to sitting on the cart at all times, and that's gonna be unfortunately Emil. Duo is behind Skeet, he's gonna find a kill there! Skeet was a little bit too preoccupied to watch for that soldier main, but that's definitely gonna buy friends a lot of time on the third point. Yeah, Saki is just gonna spike up it, uncloaks on the car, gets it past that third point, it was like a millimeter. You know, um, just just to, to get it across the line there. So they have got the forward spawns now, um, and the drop down has closed up for the defensive side. We do see Mr. Improbable comes down, takes down Kalis. So that's a lot of HP off of the battlefield straight away. But 442, definitely on the slower side compared to you know their their first round, and. I don't know, the Dutch here, if they can wrangle a few minutes, <laughs> pun not intended, on the last point, then <laughs> who knows what could happen? I mean, I don't, still don't think this is extremely in France's favour. It really depends on this next exchange. But of course, Maje has that big Uber advantage because Skeech went down to dwell earlier on. So um, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, Skeech only 60%. Maje has a 100. Now Psycho is uh, lurking about. He's going to get his stab there. And he gets another on Delusion. And now he's gonna get away with his life. No, he won't, but he got his job done there. No more of those glasses for the red team, which means Lou has so much room to work with that Uber charge. Magic popping with this one, immediately saving the team. They can cap the point, obviously under the influence, but they are capping the point now. Huge jump by Matt, but it's not gonna be enough. And France is gonna capitalize on this at five minutes and 57 seconds, call it six seconds, six minutes. Not a bad time, Not definitely not fastest, but it's pretty damn good. And now, 
<sighs> the strip baffle. Or is it the, the, the croissant, CJ? I do think the uh, the croissants have got this. A nice, a nice buttered No, no, no. Croissants. I have change of heart. Okay. I will always root for the underdogs, Netherlands coming in as an underdogs, and also we do have a representative but here. At the start, the you said this is going to be a French win, and I said the Dutch I, again. I, and I, now, I recall and now, no oh, such thing. I recall no in. such thing. Snake Owati, that's what they should call you. <laughs> oh my God, taking my bad. taking my prediction. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I agree with you. I do think. We, I mean, we look at that first round. Of course, we thought it was all over then, right? We thought the French attack was just just gonna just steamroll through them, and the Dutch wouldn't be able to do anything back. But they did. So, I mean, I, it's kind of a little bit heartbreaking, you know. Heart Psycho getting that double backstab onto not only Skeej but Lucien as well. He's got no heals and no sniper. It just gave so much room to France to do what they wanted on that last point. That could have easily have been more time the Dutch could have gained there, but they're still not out of this. Yeah, Jake, I totally agree, and hey, we might as well flip a coin at this point. Oh, you don't want to do that. No more random chance generator here. The launching basically missed, and no, it's going sky high here. Flying Dutchman yet again do so much damage. They do find Karnak, so no more sniper, but that's about it. They've lost four players in that push. They're going to get them back on their feet in no time. However, thanks to those fast respawns, the card is slowly being inched forward here. Lucian also getting scoped in quite aggressive spell here, looking for Duo, he's gonna miss this one, but he's still proving to be a huge problem for the red team as Carnax is gone for the near future, shooting the sentry, sentry's low on health, that is the prime time for the Netherlands to actually push this one in, they're due right now, leading the charge of Nazem Eel, now Matt uh, is popping his uber charge, trying to control at least somebody, they do find the power from the blue side, they're chasing down with that cut, and nice rocket there, they find Skeesh as well, Duo is a triple kill, and that cut Punch was an amazing pop just in time to get that speed boost. Yeah, I mean, they got the early pick onto Karnax there. No Karnax on the defense, no sniper. A lot of room to work with, but the Dutch really just didn't get any picks with that Uber. It was a very well played Uber there. T Borden just doing the job of just denying them any sort of space, air blasting them to where he wanted them, and then the cleanup comes in. I mean, it's only really about a 20% advantage for Matt J here, um, but we come to this situation, this kind of weird situation where the attacking team on first wants to dry push this because they don't want to wait for the Ubers to come into play because they're at a disadvantage. Um, and they really need to get some sort of pick here. Only Psycho down. Um, nobody else is really weak. Ski just getting chased. And he is going to get taken down by Azun. It's just the aggression. And France have lost a few players here, Jake. But it's going to be hard. Oh, no. I think they're giving it up. They're giving first up. They're giving yeah. first up. But I can see the cracks in the strip baffle. It's 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 you know it's caving in under the heat of the French team here, and it doesn't doesn't really good it look too good. Four minutes left on the clock for them to push last. They've they've capped the last point in a faster time, but the Fran France is not gonna let this one go. They're definitely not gonna make it any easier. Nos, however, nice positioning, nice aggressive play, taking down the sentry come from Asex. So it's gonna definitely be a good good advantage that they're looking for. And Matt on 100% ski is on only on 25 but he's pushing with the team in the tunnel there's so many people just scattered all over the place it's hard to follow the action but majority of the netherlands team is holding together oh t burden is looking for a push but skij goes back in just in time to avoid falling down the cliff he's a little bit sheepish about this 70 percent onto him magic popped his uber just in time to survive but he's in a lot of trouble right now he's getting spammed he's gonna go down no he's revised by an edge mr improbable however does get a stab and a stab on to the sentry and kills finishes off Matt J, which means that Netherlands have still a chance, but they're missing players. I I wasn't sure whether this was just going with the flow or like the greatest flank meme play I've ever seen. But like the Dutch <laughs> were just that. pushing through tunnel underneath, and that was a good idea. And then the front French were like. Oh damn, they're in tunnel, they're under us. Let's go side tunnel and come off, and they tried to. So instead of backing away or moving forward, the Dutch went through the other side, and Nightmare almost had the flank of his, I got Matt J down to about 10 HP, so it almost worked. Um, but in the end, they just got cleaned up. Big jump from Mist, um, and oh my days, look at all the damage from Noz, takes down Kalis and Matt J and the Sentry. That is a triple header, Medic down, NG down, oh, sorry, not NG down, but the sentry down and the heavy down. The Dutch have two minutes to get this onto the oh. next two points with an Uber advantage, Jake. Th let me ask you one question, okay? Under pressure, under pressure, what would break first? 
a street waffle or a croissant? <laughs> no, that's not a right question because street waffle is like, you know, rigid, whereas croissant is malleable. But there you go, Ubercharge is coming out of the Netherlands team. They're being controlled by T Burden, however, and quite well at that, there is nobody on the third point to actually use the super against, which means that Magic now has an advantage in addition of holding the third point, which is not even halfway done yet. They need to get people on the card, but you have to remember that there is Kalis there. He's almost dying for his trouble, and Emil is just really angry, just going in W plus one. He's gonna die himself for his trouble. Duo gonna clean up just a complete mess going on. Look how many bodies are on the card. One minute and 20 seconds to go. Not a lot of time for a lot of people, but Netherlands have worked with less, and they weren't won with less, so they may still yet do this, CJ. They had like three, France had like three players up there. Skeech survives, Zunis almost gets him in a very similar situation um, from a previous round there. Um, they didn't need to use the Uber, I don't think. And like you said, it has handed Magi an Uber advantage. They have enough time, mathematically, physically, however you want to put it, there is enough time for times three on the car to get this car from where it is right now into the pit. The only question is Maje with 100% Uber and the French with the high ground, the Dutch need to do something about that. Skeech has an Uber, Duo has gone down, they're losing sort of car potential here. Asix only has a level one. If this Uber I mean, keeps the French busy, then the Dutch is just going to sit on the car and they just keep camping. Times three, I don't think the Dutch really, they finally dropped oh no. down onto the car. Carnax has gone down to a backstab. They are starting to clean up the place, but the French are bleeding here. There's four left alive. The Dutch need to go to the car. There's 20 seconds. Elicor needs to die. Kalis needs to die. But no, they're cleaning up the car here. Oh no, Jenny now tries to work on the heavy weapons guy. They need to take him down. They do. There's a lot of red bodies around just running around. Matt J is a lot of trouble. Emil is on the car, but he's low on health. Four people alive. Four seconds to go. They're sitting on the car. Matt J is going to go down. Nightmare tries to jump in, but that's not enough as France takes this one home with 2-1, two to one. but Netherlands keeping it together until the very end, showing us what they can do, and they shouldn't at all under any circumstance be sad about this result because a very respectable one, oh, and they sad. definitely no. put up a fight. They're going to be they're going to be gutted, Jake. They're going to be gutted. There's losing a game, and then there's losing a game where you essentially lost so by, close. like... 10 seconds across the two rounds they lost give them an extra five seconds and the dash could have won it was that close i mean i did say they would get around i did think it was going to be 4-2 to france so i mean i <laughs> predicted the right score but i, I never imagined no such thing no such thing happened <laughs> but there, i didn't think it would be that recording cool. anything <laughs> Viv, bring up the VOD! Bring up the VOD! No, I, I never expected it to be that close, man. I never expected the Dutch to really give it that much of a go. I mean, the you know France missing Olga, missing um, Kazrock, you know, missing a couple of players from their their main lineup that they've been practicing with for a long time. I know the Dutch haven't been scrimming um, or you know sort of practicing. I'm, I'm not sure if they had a warm up. I imagine they did, but I know France have been scrimming for 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 a while, like on and off. So. You know, coming into this game um, with all of those sort of things, um, maybe those missing players swung it into the favor, but the Dutch definitely, I mean, okay, maybe they're not going to be depressed about the result. They got two points against arguably the top seed of the group. You know, they were the highest seeded team, France. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to look and think, okay, we just need to get results against Turkey and Norway and we're probably through. So they're going to be feeling fairly good. They do probably think they could have won this, but um, based on this performance, um, you know, I, I think they should definitely have a lot of confidence in themselves.